this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Now, what I wanted to do is uh, just do a quick little video because in a previous video uh, for the comic book stuff, um, I mentioned that I was going to change up the art, uh, the frames, the picture frames that I had up here, the comic books that I had up here. I mentioned I was going to change them up and I have changed them up. I've reframed some of the comics that I showed you I was going to put up. Uh, so I thought. Um, I show you what those frames look like because they look fantastic. I like them. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you the comics that were up on the walls and I'm going to show you uh, what I replaced them with. And then we're just going to put the frames up. OK, so up here, let's start off with this one here. Up here, I had what I had up was Mystic number six. OK and Punch Comics number 14. And this is Basil Wolverton's uh, The Eye of Doom. And we've had a reading of this for the comic book readings, right? So these two guys, and I love these, these are fantastic. These two guys were up here, right? In this corner, okay? Now what I ended up changing them with is, let's just put these guys here. I changed it up with, <laughs> let me show it to you, <laughs> right? getting a serious reflection um, I changed it up with Green Lantern number 87 and that's the first this one is the first appearance of Jon Stewart right and this is Green Lantern number 59 is the first appearance of Guy Gardner okay and this one came out uh, when did this one come out uh, this one came out in 1971 and this one came out in 1968 okay and this is um neil neil uh, adams doing it okay i hope so anyway i believe so uh yeah it's neil uh, neil adams uh, neil, neil adams green lantern and this one is uh kane i believe gil kane that's right right so gil kane neil adams those are the two that i've mentioned before i've talked about before and there's some other people involved with this work as well right so these two are going to go up here so let's put these guys up here for now symmetrical to the side because I do like sort of making things symmetrical to a certain degree right um, symmetrical to the side I had two other comics up right and the two comics were let me show you what I had up here before were primer number two and primer number five right <laughs> this is uh, the first appearance of Grendel and this is the first appearance of Max right and this is Matt Wagner and this is um, uh, Sam Keith, right? Sam Keith's Max. And they both came out in 1982. Okay, so I had these two guys up here, right? I think it was like this. Okay, so let me show you what I ended up uh, switching these with. And if you've watched the previous video, you know what's coming up. But uh, uh, it looks better when they're framed, right? <laughs> so let me show you this one. And these are uh, more recent comics, and this is, uh, I've written, that, written down the names. So uh, Marjorie Liu and Sana Takada, and they came out in, 19, in 2015, right? Monstrous number one and Monstrous number two. And this is a fantastic series, fantastic series. I talked a little bit about this uh, in the previous video where I was uh, mentioning I was going to change these things up, right? So this is what it looks like. Apologies about the reflection, but I just polished these, uh, wiped these down as well. So they're really uh, reflective, I guess, right? Took down all the dust and gave it a little nice wipe. So this guy's going to go here. Right, that looks fantastic. Uh, Monstrous is a little bit darker than this, 
uh, but I like it close up it looks it looks really nice and it's a fantastic series it's something that I'm uh, definitely staying up with right now that I caught up I've read the two trades and whew, what a fantastic epic story they're telling right um, as far as the comic book that goes up here okay or the comic that was up there let me show you what it was it was uh, the Incredible Hulk number 271 and it was the first comic book appearance of Rocket Raccoon right I actually haven't read this yet I just bought it because it's the first comic book appearance of a rocket raccoon, right? And from what I've heard, it's not very good, right? It's, you know, I talked to someone, not a comic book owner, he said it was pretty brutal, but it is the first appearance of a rocket raccoon, comic book appearance. And that was up here, right? Now I've changed that up with, let me show you what I've changed that up with. I mentioned this before, but... <laughs> Bozo the Clown, this looks great. Look at this. I'm having a circus theme uh, with those two. I'll show you that one. But Bozo, Bozo the Clown, number two, and this is 1952. Okay, is it 52? Bozo the Clown, 1951. Bozo the Clown, number two. Okay, and the series the numbering started with number two. The number one is considered to be uh, uh, four color. Okay, so Bozo the Clown, number two. Now I'm gonna need. My little step ladder. Oh, I gotta be careful here to put this guy up. Make sure I don't take anything down. Right. The reason I was doing, it was time for a rotation, but the reason I was doing the rotation at this time was because we needed this comic book for a series four comic book reading set, right? And what I had up there was, most of you, you know what's there, hopefully you know what it was, it was Daredevil number one, right? 1945, right? Stanley, Steve Ditko. This is a mid-grade coffee that I have, right? Bill Everett. I wrote down some names so I don't forget, right? So we have Daredevil number one, and we're going to be reading this for reading set number four. Not sure when yet, but uh, this guy was up here, right? And I switched that up with. Let me show you this guy. <laughs> I love this. Love this cover, right? And this came out in 19. Uh, uh, when did this come out? 1950s 1954 and it's Ruti Kazuti number six very pretty very pretty cover right. again I just polished off these uh, these frames so they're all bright right. pretty let's put this guy up let me move this guy over like them I think they look great I love Bozo the Clown and Ruti Kazuti up there they look fantastic okay and the Green Lanterns right and monstrous seriously right now there's one uh, let me close up this guy 
there's a there's a couple of other books um, that I showed you guys. I said I was going to switch things up, and let me show you what I took out and what I put it into the other frame. And <laughs> I'll show you that frame and the frame that is going to be uh, residing by right. So in another frame, I had Amazing Spider-Man number. 194 and 195 and these guys came out in 1979 right first and second appearance of black cat right? and these are good copies this one is the first appearance is very very nice copy okay it's near mid minus probably i hope so anyway i've looked at it for a while so i took these two guys down and i put up Alien Worlds, number one, and Twisted Tales, number one. And I believe these came out in uh, 82 or 84, right? Did I write this down? I didn't write this one down for dates. My apologies. I forgot to write down the creators. Actually, Williamson uh, is one of the creators here. And uh, I can't remember, but this is what's going up right so i switched the amazing spider-man 194 195 with these right they're beautiful covers really i wish i didn't polish them off before the video I left them a little dusty so you wouldn't get as much glare right beautiful covers and very very cool indie comics uh, from the 1980s right so I switched up those ones with this. And the reason I did that is because that frame, those comics are gonna sit with uh, a frame of comics I have that are with uh, their EC comics and all of them were from 1952, okay? And you've probably seen some, you know, I know I have at least a couple of videos where those EC comics are in the background on the wall. But what I ended up doing is uh, I pulled it down to show it to you guys because I was polishing these up. So I wanted to polish that up as well, right? So I left it down here so I could show it to you. And it's pretty big. Um, so apologies if I might not get it all straight and stuff, but let me show you this, right? These are the EC Comics. Hopefully I can get this thing. All right. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it all in the frame. Let's see if I can hold it up like this. promise that uh, when I bring these out when I switch up the artwork for these guys uh, we'll definitely do a reading for all of these but I'm really not sure when I'm gonna take these down because I just absolutely love this if there's ever a fire in this place <laughs> I'm grabbing this uh, this frame and running out <laughs> right I just love I just love this and there's a story behind I got my hands on these comics and a lot of the ECs in my collection. And one day I'll tell you what that story is, right? Weird science, weird fantasy, twisted tales, shock suspense stories, right? Beautiful. And these are gonna sit with alien worlds and twisted tales in the same wall, right? So let me put this on the side. <laughs> That's good, that's nice and safe. I uh, just thought I'd share this and um, show you what's going up. And the odds are you're gonna see these in the background. And I have some other frames actually, just like these and bigger that at some point I'm gonna put other comics in there and uh, sort of put them up uh, around my space, right? Uh, but these, uh, these look great. They're gonna be up for a while, okay. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.